Hello and welcome to this Cinema 3D tutorial on P fragment. Uh, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can make this. Let me just play it. As you can see, there's a lot of particles that is coming together and forming an object. In this case, text. Um, yeah, let's get right to it. So uh, create a new scene and uh, what we will do first is to make the object we're going to split up and uh, this can be any anything but we are going to make a text. So create a text object and just just gotta center it. Okay. Let's uh you can write write in whatever you want, but I'm going to write maxon. Uh, I'm gonna choose another font because this one was a bit boring. All right, that's nice. Uh, uh, under the object tab, um, select adaptive. Now uh, subdivide it, maximum length 3 meters, and just give it an angle of 90. Then put it under a extrude NURBS. And I can see we are going to have to increase the maximum length, so set it up to 4.5 meters. That's better. Okay, uh, under extrude NURBS, give it a fillet cap on both both sides um, radius of 3 meters steps of 2 no actually one will be okay and uh, give it a crat wrangles and shake regular grid the width need to be the same as the maximum length on the text object which is 4.5 meters so, right in 4.5 meters there. Okay, uh, we will also need to give it a bit of, oops, a bit of um, subdivision. There it is. I think four is okay. We are trying to make this uh, text object uh, all the um, all the uh, polygons has to be approximately the same size. Okay, good. Uh, copy this and uh, on the caps we'll just put the width to 7 meters, no, 9 meters, and on the text maximum length to 9. This one has fewer polygons than this version. We will also have to decrease the subdivision. Okay, uh, now just make them editable, both versions, and just rename it. Um, the high poly version we will call high poly, and this one we will call low poly. Right click and select children, connect plus delete and do the same to the low poly version. There we go. We can just delete those uh, polygon selections. For now just hide the high poly version. So now we only have the low poly. Uh, this is also a good time to save your project, so I'll just save it and come right back. Okay, uh, I've just saved it and we are ready to continue. Um, now we'll make a Expresso node. So just create a null object, right click, Expresso tag, and right click, create a draw node. Uh, as we're, when we're at it, just add a particle birth 
a uh, P group node and just connect it. Actually, we will have two groups of particles. So go into thinking particle settings, create two groups, and one of them we will call mesh, and the other we will call particles. It's also a good idea to color code them as well. There we go. Okay, and the P group we just created, we'll just drag the mesh into the window there. Okay. Um, select P draw, go into top view, just hide the low poly, go to objects, thinking particles, TP particle draw, and while holding control in, click in the middle of the screen. There we go. Now we have created a particle, and uh, cr go into Expresso again, and make a P pass node. Just drag the mesh into this p pass group, no, this p pass node. I mean, and uh, this this particle, the mesh particle, is right there. Oops, I forgot to. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Um, this particle here is now in the mesh pass, so we are going to give it a s shape. connect it and the shape will be low poly the low poly object which I have uh, hide give it a bounding radius of 10 uh, we'll also need to make a a uh, particle geometry object and just drop the low poly beneath the particle geometry drag the mesh into the particle group and if we refresh, there we go. Alright, now we have a particle which has this shape. This is not actually geometry, it is a particle. Alright, uh, now we have to make it break up into little pieces. So create a P fragment node and connect it to the mesh pass and the fragmented particles will go into another group Oops. I made the wrong outgoing node just born particle, that's what we want okay, go into thinking particle settings and drag the particles into the P group Um, click, select the P fragment, and if we decrease the threshold to 0 0.9 and update, there you see, it is now splitting up to small particles. Each of the uh, each of the um, polygon will become one particle. But we will do right now. It is um, it is fragmenting from this side to that side. We want it to go from this side, no, this side to this side, which is plus x to minus x. There we go. Now it's fragmenting that way like that. Okay, uh, we can also animate it. So go to zero, frame zero, uh, make it make a keyframe by holding control and clicking. Go to 90, select zero, now right zero, right click while holding control and and just play. <laughs> 